you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name. If paper milling is a process in which natural resources are converted into useful forms of paper. Radioactive particles then control the thickness of the paper. First, the tree has to be felled. After that, you soak it in water. And you take it out of water and chop it into little pieces. After that, you add it to your digester where a combination of pressure, heat and sodium hydroxide break down the chopped pieces of wood into pulp. A radioactive source emits beta particles, which is right above the paper. The paper comes out from the head box. A Geiger military right underneath the paper takes in these beta particles. The beta particles will knock the other electrons from the argon atom causing the electrons to arrive at the wire, creating an amplified pulse. This is how counts per minute works. If too many particles are detected in the Geiger Miller tube, it sends a signal to the roller where it either decreases the pressure, which increases the paper's size, or increases the pressure where it decreases the paper's size. A source with a long half-life is chosen, as it does not need to be replaced often. This is usually tin 113 or strontium 90. Beta particles are used rather than alpha particles for the reason that they'll be affected by the paper. Gamma rays are not used as they'll not be affected by the paper. So that was a summary of how paper milling is done using radioactive elements which control the thickness of paper. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.